The following is difficult to watch. It's considered the single greatest play in all of baseball history. April 25th, 1976. Never let anyone tell you it's only baseball. small plans because they're all possible. No one ever had to tell Andrew Berlin that baseball's more than just a game. He's known it his whole life. And he chose South Bend to prove it. This guy is extremely passionate. This guy has a love for baseball. He is in absolute love with our community and, and uh, he's wanting to do something special here. I gotta tell you, that's good news for the city of South Bend and for this region. Fortunate. Lucky, I don't know what it was. It was terrific to find Andrew and to know that um, he, he was in it for the long haul. As a boy, Andrew Berlin spent summer nights with his dad at Old Comiskey Park watching the Sox. The memories, he wants everyone to have memories like that. Baseball is more than just a game. I've got an awful lot to live for. And here in South Bend, it goes way back. At 11 a.m. November 11, 2011, Andrew T. Berlin agreed to purchase South Bend's minor league professional baseball team from former Governor Joe Kernan and 52 other investors who managed to cling to the team at their own personal expense while looking for a new owner who could afford to invest in the team and keep it in South Bend where it belonged. Our goal of 53 guys from the beginning was to keep the team in South Bend. It was a great community effort, 
really pretty much behind the scenes. Looking back to the first days, uh, we were the pinnacle of minor league baseball. The league didn't want the team to move out of South Bend. The league remembered those early years when South Bend was at the pinnacle. We were in trouble. We were in big trouble. For it to disappear would have been a disaster. So Joe, in his wisdom, in order to protect this important asset for the city, found Andrew Berlin. Or Andrew Berlin found Joe. I don't know how it all uh, came about, but I think there was some providence there that brought the two of them together, and it was magic at that point. We could have scoured the earth and uh, uh, never found anybody better than Andrew Berlin to buy the team. But that hardworking kid from Chicago, the one with all those great memories, wasn't just buying a team. He made some pretty unbelievable promises at the same time about putting millions of dollars of his own money into his city-owned stadium, bringing hundreds of thousands of fans back downtown and making a 20-year commitment to keeping the team right here in South Bend where it belongs. Sometimes people don't believe in what you're doing. We have a lot of empathy in that sense from the tribal perspective. We know what it's like to have the odds maybe against you. When he came in and became the owner, everybody was probably in South Bend questioning is he going to really be successful. He knew the challenges that he was facing. You get nervous. I mean, God, I was, I was nervous. His enthusiasm kind of gives you the buy-in. He's got a drive in him that he's not going to fail. He's done every single one of those things. He, in short order, made us believers. He tore down the left field wall to embrace the century-old synagogue, abandoned on the other side, restored it as the new team store, and in the process, discovered two glass bottles buried deep beneath the building by men who dug the original basement over a hundred years ago. Etched on the glass, the name Berlin. The turnaround had begun. Tens of thousands of people were coming back to a new kind of baseball. September 5th, 2013. I make all the major decisions for the family. Courtney makes all the minor decisions, and Courtney decides what's major and minor. <laughs> so, today I'm announcing we've achieved the goal of awarding the naming rights to the ballpark where the South Bend Silverhawks play. We've partnered with the original citizens of the region, the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians. The new name for the stadium will be Four Winds Field at Stanley Kowalski Stadium. We're very proud. A lot of his goals are our goals, and, and, and at the end of the day, it's a commitment to uh, Michigan and, and South Bend. September 25th, 2014. Berlin makes history again. Wow, I gotta say, this morning's happy dance was not for nothing. I, <laughs> this, this is it's great for South Bend, but I sure I sure pretty feel very very happy these days. We're leveraging for South Bend, one of the greatest brands, certainly in baseball, possibly in in, in, in corporate world too. Now the South Bend Cubs is now a reality. Choosing South Bend is significant. You get these polls about most livable city, least livable city, and you know, we score high and we score low. The proof is in someone like Andrew Berlin deciding that this is the place that he thinks he, not only that he thinks he wants to be, but he really wants to be here. He's giddy about the, the sport and giddy about being engaged in the sport that he loves. He did good. <laughs> I want to rate high on the Andrew Berlin list. I can't believe how welcoming the town has been. It's, it's memories, it's past for him, present with our boys and future. And so I think baseball is an American dream, it's his dream, and, and he wanted to bring what he felt so strongly about in his heart to other people. 
the ballpark is fantastic. Can you think of one other thing that's going to bring 300,000 people to downtown? I'm proud. I'm proud that we have this gem here in our community to take advantage of. Memories? Ask Andrew. We're just getting going. How lucky can you get? I think we're the lucky ones too. Because without the South Bend Cubs coming here, we wouldn't have you. That's our home away from home. Dreams can and do come true right here in South Bend. Whether you're Catholic, Jewish, or agnostic, or whatever, there is a power that's greater than us. And some people call it luck, some people call it providence. Um, I tend to call it the Holy Spirit. And you have to be open to that. And you have to let really good people do really good things. You find somebody like Andrew um, who you know you can believe and trust. That's all you gotta do. It's like history came full circle again. And we should be very humble and very thankful. He made believers in all of us, without question. And as a result, we're honoring Andrew Berlin. And that's, that's history. It really makes me feel speechless right now. That's just the kind of man he is, you know. He, he saw this team and saw an opportunity, and if all these incredible good things are coming with it, then we just feel so lucky to be a part of it. Yeah, he's a good man. He's also a knee con knee to one of our friends. What Andrew has done, he's made a destination for all of us to, to go and participate in his dream that he's created down in downtown South Bend. I don't think we ever expected it to be this this big, but it makes me feel excited. I'm so proud of Andrew. It's him. You know, people will say, you know, you're part of this too, and it's really all him. And so to see these crowds, I really look and I think, God, that's him. Baseball. If anyone ever tells you it's just a game, invite them here to South Bend and tell them about the kid from Chicago, the one with all those memories, Andrew Berlin, making history. Make no small plans because they're all possible. All of you that came here, uh, thank you very much.